The Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, PRC, says Ghanaians showed expert a tariff review sometime in July. The Commission on Wednesday engaged civil society organizations and the power distributors to justify their 2022 proposed tariff adjustments. Mino, head of corporate communications, or PRC Ali Simon Jarana, says the Commission will analyze the data presented and make a final determination. Both the power generation and distribution companies were present at the forum. The meeting was called at the instance of the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, PURC, for the distributors to engage civil society organizations and the public on the proposed tariffs. One by one, they made their presentation. The Ghana Water Company is demanding 334% increase in tariffs, while the Electricity Company of Ghana is demanding 148%. According to the ECG and GWCL, new investment and ongoing projects and their desire to serve the customers well will require the new tariff hikes. If PRC does not approve this tariff, I can assure you that in the next three years, if we are asked to come up with a proposal, it will already have in this, the 148. Plus, plus the other things, events which would have happened. So we'll be looking at something higher than this. So basically, like I said, there's a wide gap between the prevailing tariff and what we call the actual full cost recovery tariff. We have, um a gap between demand and supply. So it means that more people need our water than what the existing facilities can provide or produce. And this will be so until 2026, that the project we have undertaken or are undertaking will, will be completed. The Volta River Authority and the Northern Electricity Distribution Company, Netco, also justify the proposed hikes in view of the fuel prices and the price of materials. Head of communications of the PRC, Ali Simon Jarana, promised Ghanaians should expect a realistic tariffs in July. There are a lot of factors that go into tariff determ determination. One is the interest of the consumer that is provided for by the act establishing PURC. Two is the interest of the investor community. We are looking at that. Three, we have regulatory benchmarks that the utilities must also meet. We are also looking at some macroeconomic indicators, i.e. we are looking at inflation, we are looking at exchange rate, exchange rate because a lot of their uh, equipment, they, 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 they import them, like Ghana Water Company, for instance, they import chlorine to treat the water. Uh, um, uh, Netco would import copper, steel. They are all imported. What should the enemy expect in July? Oh, they should expect a review in tariff. In July, in July, yes, in July. We are emphatic on this one.